Today we want to talk about the zeros of polynomials. And the zeros are the points at which the function intersects the x-axis. A polynomial function of degree n can have at most n real zeros. So a cubic uh, equation can have at most three real zeros. A quadratic, which is degree 2, can have at most two real zeros. So an even degree polynomial has an even number of zeros or no zeros, and an odd degree polynomial has an odd number of zeros. So let's graph some of these and identify as zeros graphically. So I, if I graph x cubed plus x squared minus 2x, I'm going to do that on Desmos over here. And if I hover over the points where this function crosses the x-axis, I can see they are at 0, 2, 0, 0, and 1, 0. So this means the zeros of this function are minus 2, 0, and 1. Let's do another one. So in this next uh, polynomial, minus x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 3, if I input this to Desmos, it looks like this. So this is degree 4. And so we expect four zeros. And look, so when I plot this, I can see I have a zero at minus one, I have a zero at one, and I have a zero at three. So where's my other zero, you might ask? Well, we're, we're going to discuss this in a little while. But because this graph goes like this here, so it has a turning point right at this zero, we see say that there is a multiplicity of two here. So we actually have two zeros at one. We have one zero here and one zero here. And that's how we get our four zeros.